G'day everyone, Jojo here from Bow Wolf Builders. Great to see you all again, absolutely brilliant to see you all again actually. I'm really excited, today we are gonna cut a door in to a window, an existing window opening. It's a double brick, so what we need to make sure of, obviously, is that the whole thing's gonna be able to fit into the spot that we've got. Um, we don't really wanna open up the bricks any more than we have to. We get asked quite a lot of questions about cutting into brickwork and uh, removing windows and putting doors in. So this is just one way of doing it. If we wanted to open it right up, I'll explain that as we go through this. So step this way and I'll take you through what we're gonna go here. Well, this is a very old school building. It's built very similar to the, um, to the old English schools. Here what we've got is our main foundation is here. So we've cut this out and we've already checked it all out. We had the bricky through here already. You can see this here is all of the new mortar. We've checked it all in, we've toothed it. So we haven't just cut straight through, we've actually removed these bricks and checked them all in and toothed it all the way through. This way we can completely keep all of the same strength that's there. Uh, Nothing is gonna be able to slip and pop out that way. So here's the window that we've got that we're gonna remove. Goes all the way up still. So up the very top here, hang on, I'll take you for a walk. Up the top here, when we're doing brickwork in general, you'll notice this piece of steel here. This piece of steel here is a lintel. So the lintel comes onto this here, onto this pillar, and it'll also go onto that pillar over there. So what it does is it takes the downward pressure from the bricks above. If we are going to cut a bigger hole, then we actually have to support all this brickwork above. If we're gonna support the brick wall above, then what we do is called needles and pins. So that's a whole different story. What we're doing today is we're going to pop rivet all of these sections out, then come down the side of here, all the way through, and we're gonna remove any screws, etc. And then this whole window system is just gonna pop out or slide down, and then we'll get our new door opening and we'll put it in. We already have our window and door system. I'll bring that around in a second once we've got this hole cut and I'll show you how to flush it. If you haven't seen flashing before, we've actually got a video just on, video just on window flashings. Um, we'll do that again today and I'll just give you a really quick brief rundown. So all inside is prepped, all these nails are cut all the way through, the window is now on the woggly side. We've got our supports underneath, skirtings are cut, now skirtings you can see are MDF and they're cut just to the edge of the brick. These will actually need to be cut back the width of our architrave when we put it back in. there's our top window so this is all raw timber through here this is our style so what we're gonna do is we're gonna flush all of this so no moisture can get in especially because you can see there we've got the double brick so brick being um, masonry it'll soak up some water we don't want that water getting into this and rotting it away so we'll seal all the way around with our flashings and then we'll stick her in Once 
I'm putting silicon on this all the way through because this is the base. We don't want any moisture coming up this at all. We'll flush from the bottom of this and then we'll fold out as just the way that we'd flush a roof. Start from the bottom and work our way up. Getting sure all of the bubbles are out, the flushing, and that's it, that's good. So our flushing starts flushing starts here comes around and up 25 mil up to here then from here we go all the way up and we stop right on this corner and then the top comes around and flashes over and you can see we got 50 mil come down so any water that hits here will run down and it won't sit inside any of this plastic and it'll just run down that face that's exactly what we're after so that's spot on that's ready to rock and roll So you can see, we've got the screw straight through, wedge it in between so this doesn't squeeze out or squeeze in as we screw it in or out. That's all fixed off. We've got one, two, three, four, five on each side. Fixings, it's not going anywhere. Now with this gap down the side, we'll foam fill this all the way through. If you haven't watched before, there's a few videos on foam filling. Then we'll put the architrave over the top and we will fill in this tread here with a piece of that blue stone slate that we've got outside and that'll continue through to our step and then we'll build a step outside. So here we are, windows in. We've got a number of fixings all the way through. We made sure that when we were fixing, you can see here I've just marked out where my solids are, so my solid bricks or my full bricks and I've made sure that I've got my screw into that solid. We've also finished foam filling all the way down. That was done two days ago when this was put in and now it's gone off so we can cut it out. Just a quick note when you're foam filling, just because it expands doesn't mean, I don't know if you can see that in there, but you can see daylight on the other side. Just because the foam itself expands doesn't mean that it blocks up the whole hole. So what we'll do now is we'll go back over this and fill it and on the other side outside we will put caulking all the way down there as well and make sure that we've got so we'll foam fill it on the other side and also cork it and you can see the foam goes all the way down here wedges are cut off but here we've got a wedge that's cut off but we haven't actually taken it out 
it just holds it in place. The screw's back against that. So we don't want to take that out. It'll just give it too much play. So if we keep those, they're counteracting each other. One's pulling the other one in. One's pushing the other one out. So it'll be nice and sturdy and it won't move. The foam also helps with that. Again, you can see the other side. Foam field all the way through. We've got our fixings and our wedges. Our wedge here got buried in there, which is great. So you can't see it. So that there is how we do a replacement window or door in the same opening. You can reverse uh, slightly if you wanted to put a window where a door was and just re-brick up. Make sure that you too thin, you don't just brick up willy-nilly. Toothing in, just make sure, or stitching in, make sure that you're actually tying both pillars or sides of the building in together. It reduces the chance of cracking or movement, etc. So if you've got any questions or queries, um, flick them over, I'll look at them straight away. If you want to go over the needles and pins, someone let me know, or if I come up with a job that has needles and pins where we're making a, an opening in a brick wall bigger, then I'll make sure that I do a film of that so you can all see that. So until then, stay unreal, and uh, I look forward to seeing you next time.